Magandang araw everyone! Welcome to another episode of Tagalog Tuesdays, a segment of Philippine Tales where I introduce you to our national language in the Philippines, Tagalog. I created this segment for those with genuine interest in learning the language, as well as for those children born out of a Filipino parent married to another nationality. Many of them do not speak the language or are having difficulty speaking or understanding when Tagalog is spoken to them. It is my hope that all half-Filipino children, just like my daughter, would learn a bit of Tagalog in order to keep that link with our Filipino culture. Today, we will be learning the basics of abacada or the Tagalog ABC. I got a message from one of my subscribers. She's a Filipino woman who's also married to a foreigner and she was quite keen for her children to learn Tagalog. And she specifically requested that I discuss the basics of abacada because her children are a little confused on the use of ha and ja and they were kind of looking on how to use the letter Q in the Tagalog language. So here it is. After a thorough research, I bring to you the basics of abacada as we learned it when we were kids in school. I'm sure many of you can relate to this. As a child, when we start learning, or even before they start learning, parents already buy them this little yellow book called Abacada. In fact, some years ago when my child was still small and just beginning to study, I went in search for this book from the national bookstore. It was not easy to find it because I don't think there are many takers of this nowadays because they don't use them in schools anymore. But I felt like the way we learn using this Abacada book was the best because we started off with phonetics. You know how we say a ah, for aso and ba for baka, ka for caballo, <laughs> all those things, you know. It, I felt like that was a very easy way that it's not done nowadays, but of course the educators nowadays would have studied what is the best way to teach kids nowadays. Maybe it worked for us before and it may not work for them now. But anyway, it would be still fun to learn the basics or the ABCs of Tagalog, which is abacada. Between the 1930s and 1970s, abacada was taught as the alphabet of the Philippine national language. It was developed by renowned scholar Lope K. Santos. The abacada alphabet is made up of 20 letters, 5 vowels, and 15 consonants. These letters in the alphabet represent the native sounds used by the Filipinos before the Spaniards came in the 16th century. The letters are A, Ba, Ka, Da, E, Ga, Ha, I, La, Ma, Na, Nga, O, Pa, Ra, Sa, Ta, U, Wa, Ya. So we say A, Ba, Ka, Da, E, Ga, Ha, I, La, Ma, Na, Nga, O, Pa, Ra, Sa, Ta, U, Wa, Ya. I have here some sample words to illustrate the use of each letters. A, Ba, Ka, Da, E, Ga, Ha, I, La, Ma, Na, Nga, O, Pa, Ra, Sa, Ta, U, Wa, Ya. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. Just the same as the English, like A, E, I, O, U. In 1976, the Department of Education, Culture, and Sports, or what we call the DEX in the Philippines, issued a revised alphabet including the following letters C, CH for Cha, F, J, 
Elie or the double L, Enye, the N with the umlaut, Q, double R, V, X, and Z. So now the Filipino alphabet is composed of 28 letters and this is what is being currently taught in the schools in the Philippines. I have mentioned earlier about the little yellow books that we used when we were kids. And this book actually taught us the basics of abacada, learning each alphabet first, the abacada and so on, and then eventually conjugating them to ba, be, bi, bo, bu. That is combining the consonants and the vowels and conjugating them to make the different sounds. So we say ba, be, bi, bo, bu, ka, ke, ki, ko, ku, da, de, di, do, du, and so on and so forth. So that's how we learn as a kid. And then from there, we start making words like a for aso, ba for baka, ka for kabayo or kama, and that's actually how we learn. It was a lot easier for us then because as kids, you know, we speak the language at home and we were able to connect the words that we speak at home while conversing with our parents or with our siblings. I, I, so as I have mentioned earlier, once we know the basics of abacada and conjugating them, just like, you know, the multiplication table saying ba, be, bi, bo, bu, and ka, ke, ki, ko, ku, it is now easier to form words. Of course, there may be the ABCs of the Tagalog language nowadays. Or if you find some words that are actually confusing when you say it in Tagalog and how it is understood by the other people or how it is understood by people who we talk to. It would be nice to share them to our viewers so that they too can understand how our language has evolved and how we tend to make those mistakes based on how we studied and how words are being used nowadays. Thank you, or as we say, maraming salamat po for joining us in this Tagalog Tuesday episode. I sincerely hope that whatever small help you get in learning our language will help you foster better understanding with your friends and colleagues in whichever part of the world you may be. Well, friends, if you're enjoying learning the language, kindly give me a thumbs up for this video. And if you would like to continue learning more about the Philippine language Tagalog, please consider subscribing to our channel and click that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we put up a new video. Paalam na po and mabuhay!